Last night, Old Trafford was a bit special. It might not have been the best performance by any stretch of the imagination. United were poor for the majority of the game. Defence was a shambles. Midfield was a mess. But Ronaldo popped up and we got a last minute winner from Ronaldo in front of the Stretford end with Fergie watching. Those moments there, they're like the drugs of football. I want another one straight away. I want that hit of a last gasp winner straight away. And in this video, I want to address the Ole out Manchester United fans. Because the United fan base, I wouldn't say it's divided right now, but there's certainly some factions appearing. Plenty still supporting Solskjaer. As you can see and hear from that Old Trafford crowd there. But there are plenty that are frustrated and angry with the problems they see with Solskjaer. In this video, I want to explain exactly why I'm still supporting Solskjaer. And I want you to as well. And why... You can criticise the manager while still supporting him. You can do both at the same time. And that's what I want to explain in this video. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe by the end of it if you agree or disagree. And please leave your comments below. But this is a message to all the Oli Out United fans. I want to take you back to a certain David Moyes. Because I've watched Man United under David Moyes. And it was torture. Nothing compares to how bad that was under Moyes and how United fell so quickly after winning the league. And I've watched Manchester United under Louis van Gaal winning the FA Cup, having a clearly defined style of play that Solskjaer doesn't have, apparently. And I didn't like it. The boredom drove Old Trafford opposite of Wild. It was, it was, that was equally as torturous. And I've seen Manchester United under Jose Mourinho, the highs of the trophies in the Europa League and the League Cup. To the lows and the fallouts and his fallout with Popper and it was it was war at the end. And that was with his clearly defined style of play. And I've watched Manchester United under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. And the journey that we've been on over the last three years from the absolute shit state that we were left in post Mourinho to where Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has helped Manchester United get to now. And ultimately I feel more connected to this United team under Solskjaer than I have ever done, or ever did, under Moyes, under Van Gaal, under Mourinho. And I'm here to remind everybody about all the good work that Solskjaer has done. Because trust me, there are huge faults in his game. I've already pointed out the faults in his management, the fundamental flaws that he has as a manager and as a coach. And I'm going to do it in more depth next week as well. I'm not here hugely with red tinted glasses on. I'm just trying to explain to you why I'm still supporting my manager. And I've seen such an overhaul at United from when Solskjaer took charge. The squad overhaul. As I said, I feel more connected to this squad. There's so much more to like about this team from Cavani to Bruno Fernandes, to Marcus Rashford, to Mason Greenwood, to Ronaldo, to Sancho, to Varane, to this entire team, I've got such a bigger connection with than I ever did. Felt massively disconnected when we had the likes of Sanchez and Fellaini under Mourinho. And then if you go back to under Van Howe, he was just spending money left, right and centre on just a million different signings from Di Maria and Herrera to Blin to Falcao. And it was just all a bit of a mess. And then Fellaini... Under Moyes, well, let's not talk about David Moyes. I feel more connected to this team and this manager and this squad at Manchester United than I have done for a long time. And I know Gary Neville went on record to say it a while ago, but it makes a big difference if you actually like the team you're watching. You might not like the style of play that United have and you might not like the style of everything right now, but don't tell me that you're not more connected to this United team because of the squad that Solskjaer has built. He absolutely has. And in terms of behind the scenes, the academy overhaul that's happened. John Murta, a big part of that as well. But Solskjaer has got a clearly defined route. And our academy over the last three years has massively improved from where it was before. In terms of the transfers, most of them are hits. We've gone from a different approach to a scattergun approach in the market to really identifying key targets. I mean, Donny van der Beek aside, really, most of Solskjaer's signings have been a real hit. But when it comes to Solskjaer, it still divides the fan base. I'm not saying there's a big split down the middle. I would still say the majority are supporting Solskjaer. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to fucking support my manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. You're damn right I will. In the same way I supported Louis van Gaal and I supported eh, David Moyes to an extent. And I supported Jose Mourinho until I felt it wasn't tenable. Until I felt that there really was no point of return. Solskjaer's not there yet. Solskjaer, every time he goes towards the brink... United respond. 
And that in itself is an equally as frustrating habit as it is a positive habit. Why does it always take United to go 1-0 down for United to respond? But you're goddamn right, I'm going to support my manager. And you're goddamn right, I think you should be supporting him too. Because you can do both at the same time. People need to understand this. Just because I'm sitting here saying I see the positives in Solskjaer as a manager at United. And I understand the great work I think he has done to get this club to where it is now from where it was a few years ago. But I can do that at the same time as criticising Solskjaer and seeing the fundamental flaws in his coaching, in Manchester United's setup defensively and in midfield, in, in his substitutions that I disagree with quite a lot of the time, in terms of his starting 11s that I sometimes disagree with. Hell yeah, I'm going to point all those out. I'm not sitting here with red-tinted specs on saying Solskjaer is the best thing since sliced bread and is going to win everything this season. Odds are he might not. But you are right that I will support him and I will call on everybody to support him because that's what you do as fans. You support your team. Why is everyone trying to throw Solskjaer under the bus when he's not going to get sacked? He's not going to get sacked, ladies and gents. I'm sorry, he's just signed a new contract. He's backed by the club. He's got the signings he wants. It might be a frustrating journey. But a lot of people, I think, have got this massive sense of entitlement that's come back almost immediately now. We've got that squad. We should be competing for trophies. We should, we, we should be. I'm not saying that we shouldn't be. But this sense of entitlement that exists, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. You've got to take the highs with the lows. And I know people are going to say, oh, it's been a few years, Sam. You're just sounding deluded now. I don't think I do. I will support my manager. And I'll tell you one thing about Solskjaer, right? Try and disagree with this. Solskjaer, for me, is a manager who every single decision he's ever made at Manchester United, it's with the club's interest at heart. It's with the club's interest first. You could never say the same thing about Moyes. If he did, he would have kept his backroom coaching staff. He didn't. He got rid of everyone because he thought well, his way was the right way. Van Hal, you can't say the same thing about him. You can't say the same thing for sure about Mourinho. It's why he left it in such a crap state for when Solskjaer took over. Solskjaer has, piece by piece, rebuilt quite a lot of our club and the image of our club over the last three years. And now in the season where he's got his squad, people want trophies and they want winning straight away. I understand that. But I don't understand trying to call for Solskjaer out after this amount of games. I think it's madness. I really do. And I really will continue to support Solskjaer whilst at the same time pointing out and doing videos, highlighting problems, highlighting flaws, highlighting things that Solskjaer needs to improve on because he does. And I said it all along. I said if he's going to be stubborn, he's not going to go anywhere. But yesterday against Villarreal... He made a difference. He switched McFred out just after he said he trusted them in his press conference. Note, managers lie in press conferences. But this is a video I wanted to do to all the Ole out Manchester United fans. I think you're wrong. I think to be going there, and then you're going to say, it's not after six games, Sam. It's, it's after three years. Where were we three years ago? We were a fucking joke of a club. An absolute state on and off the pitch. Now, because Solskjaer steered that, we are in a substantially better place. There's still so much we need to do. There's still so much we need to improve on. And Solskjaer will have to do. And if he doesn't, he will get sacked in the goodness of time. But right now, Solskjaer needs your support. The players need your support. The team needs your support. Fucking support United, man. I don't get the toxicity of shouting Ole out now. I understand the frustrations. I'll always point out the frustrations. I'm not saying don't point them out. But at the same time, see the positives that are there as well. Don't just focus on the negatives. Maybe there's people after that winner against uh, Villarreal from Ronaldo that are still just, they're just pissed off that United won. You're not a fan. Simple as that. And for me, I'm supporting Ole. I'm not shouting here Ole in. Hell yeah. I'm not shouting Ole out. Hell no. I'm sitting here balanced in the middle saying there are reasons to support Solskjaer and say Solskjaer and at the same time as there are reasons to say Ole out as well. But you can't just shout from one end of the... As I said, I haven't got rose-tinted specs on to say Ole in and not look at the negatives. I've not got the other side where I'm purely negative and not looking at the positives. I'm staying in the middle. I'd ask you all to try and stay in the middle. Try not get too high on the wins. Try and not get too low on the lows because if you do, this topsy-turvy season is going to absolutely kill you. But for me, Solskjaer's got my support right now. And I think he deserves yours as well.